ยอชองจองเนจีกะติดิงจาชาดาโกยอเชงอเลซเบธโลเปตุปาวเลเฮตียาโยอ่าเตยอซอคอเกอาไซจาเทียเปคอเอเล็กชั่นเซยอนูโ
uh, where I help them launch uh, five different programs in different languages. And uh, it was really helpful for us when the pandemic hit because we already had these uh, programs in place while a lot of jurisdictions, a lot of um, government was trying to figure out how do we reach into community mm -hmm. during a time of just uncertainty. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. So you've already kind of alluded to it, but why why does cultural media matter? Um, so you really yeah, cultural media to Well, I believe information is power and it provides access. And unfortunately, for for too long, government has been built to leave people out versus include people. And so being the communications director for Ramsey County, it's important to me uh, because we get to work with all of the departments, how do we help the departments share information and resources to everybody in the community and not just folks who maybe um, English is their first language or have the opportunity to access information digitally? Ramsey County Communication and Public Relations yeah, and so um, when you thought about cultural media in terms of Ramsey County's vision of it, right? Because it sounds like you've had a lot of really wonderful experiences in cultural media at different um, places with wonderful opportunities. I'm curious to kind of just understand um, what your vision was with cultural media when you started at Ramsey County. Sure. Yeah, and so and cultural media program, cultural media program, the Ramsey County. Thank you. Um, so when I got to Ramsey County, I really wanted to start something. And they already were doing a program called Trusted Messengers. And that was working with community organizations or folks in the community who could share information um, because of COVID, right? Get information out there on public health and topics like that. And so I really, as I came into Ramsey County two years ago, built relationships uh, with other leaders across the organization. Uh, Ramsey County, and they said, what if we take this concept and we create something with a media partner so we can share out information we're already doing in social media, on our website, printed materials, but it's predominantly in English or predominantly in, in digital spaces. And what if we... We did that in a space where people could also talk to us and ask us questions at the same time. And as you know, Ramsey County is the most diverse county mm -hmm. in Minnesota. So it was hard. It was hard to say, where do we start? Mm -hmm. um, but we looked at the census data, the American survey, languages spoken in schools, um, and the Asian community is the largest. And so it made sense to start 
with the Hmong community. ทอเปชัวเจเจิงกงแรมซีคาวนตี้ยอยลูคาวนตี้อัวมัวเต่าไหนนั่งจงชับเหลอยอเตชิทอเปมัวเอ่อลาไม่เปสังกะลอชัว
Um, I grew up in a family without a lot of resources. Both my parents were farmers. And when I went to college, I was the first one in my family to go to college. And so I had to navigate that on my own and figure that out. Um, not because my parents didn't want to help me. They just didn't know how. Um, and I worked three jobs to pay for school. เอ่อเนาะเท่ากูอ่ะมุกันดาคลิเชียกูยะทะเท่าตู่เนาะเปจินะมุกันดาคลิเชียกูชิปอกาโยอริจากูชั่งเตเกนอนุยัญญัวช
And so I think one thing we would like to see is folks watching, um, sharing episodes. And we introduced with uh, intent our service centers and our navigators first, last episode. You are saying, I was going to say, I was going to say, I was so if folks have a question about the topic, we want you to call, ask that question so we can help. Yeah, I love that. We also have a lot of fun things in Ramsey County. We have beautiful parks with things that I'm constantly learning, like you can do free kayak check out or you can be part of a program to help get the syrup out of the trees. Um, and we have libraries that can help with homework, um, that are just great for computers if you need access to them, and just all these resources that we want folks to know that are are, are there for you. Yeah, and um, I love all that. I've been discovering it all myself as well. I've just been learning so much about um, Ramsey County, and I'm so truly grateful that I get the opportunity to work here and work under you and just like learn so much from your leadership. So before we end this segment, I would love to just see if you have anything else you would like to add or any kind of um, final words you would like to say about our program or just Ramsey County or anything more. So Thank you. Um, two final thoughts. Um, if you're enjoying what we're doing, let us know because currently it's a pilot and I would like to see it permanent. I think Shane would like to see it permanent. I would love for it to be permanent. Um, but we want to hear from you because your feedback will help um, us tell that story inside of the county to um, help it become permanent. เวียดนามเขาเนาะนี้ขอเอ่อโชว์ไปเนี่ยขอฉีซึ่งนะไอ้ไปยังสากอเดียวเขาโชว์เนาะนี่ได้หมู่อ่ะเนี่ยเนา
avenues of um, communication and like just invite people in. Um, and so, you know, go jong share or go jong don't be tamji tear rose or care to be her cultural media program, care baby when she talk to King Tear Golly or Pian to be her cultural media program. Um, and so thanks so much for everything you do for the team and everyone at Ramsey and just everyone in your life, just all around. <laughs> I feel like you're just such a amazing, influential, powerful person. So I'm just super grateful um, that you spent your day off again today um, <laughs> to be with me and to be with us just to talk a little bit more about the cultural media program because I think a lot of people were wondering like what are we doing here and so mm -hmm. I think this helps a lot and um, inviting other people um, in on that conversation so yeah thanks so much for being here thank you and then I just wanted to add with gratitude because we wouldn't be here without you choosing to be part of Ramsey County and helping us and Baymung TV for being our wonderful partner and our interpretation partners um, we will always try to have Guests being able to speak Hmong, we have a very diverse Ramsey County um, employment base, but sometimes um, we have folks who, who have great things to share um, that, that aren't going to be able to speak Hmong. And so we're very grateful that folks can help us um, still communicate. ว่าว่าจองดาวจับเลยตกก็เรียกก็หลอนะเอเปเทลิมัวขนอเจ เจ้าเอ่อเนาะเจ้าเป้ยอยู่เอ่อชอบเป็นที่จ้องมาตะกะละชิถาเตชิเยเนจันตาตอไชนิมุลูไฮเลยเนมุเดชิสันนุเป็
เจ้าเป็นเปาะแล้วแต่หนึ่งยิ่งมัวลุงน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้องน้อง
and you cannot be under a court order that revokes right to vote. So, kuhai lo ang kina ye um pe tu chai lu mi yo la hai lu mo to pe. Lang tu thiem mo chai mo pom ba. Ko yo chu ye i tu nang mua ko i tu nang san sa te kia me ka no. Ko yo chu mo no yong zhe ken go ye go yi xiong de tao wa nu yo mo sai zhan de. Ko yo chu chu ye i tu nang ta to zhou go vi ye i zhou ge vi ye zhou ge zhou chai lo. Felony. Thế có dấu chủ trí trâu chế hai bảo dù à nè nó giữ chỉ bố có mua chạy xảy trả. Mà chúng ta không? Uh, so Minnesota state law provides a number of special options for the voting system. If you are a college student, a military or living abroad, um, if you are currently unhoused or considered homeless, um, you live in a residential facility, you may fear for personal safety or have a criminal record, and so you can um, go online to learn a little bit more if you are one of these individuals. Sang Minnesota cho chai nu mua, opi cho kei tau chu sang do cho kei sai chan de no, la ye cho kei bom ba do wa no chu de no. Vì dù vì thế, yo koi tu yo thì hay koi yo tu nang cần đỡ tí xia, koi yo tu nang wa nè no mu wa tu do la xì. เกย์อีตูนังวัดชิมัวว่าเจียวลอชิเกย์อีตูนังวัดย้อนจะหัวจอดเจียวเนาะวัดตูเป็ดสังอ่าลอชิเกย์อีตูนังวัดก็เนา
Okay, and then being um, early voting, so early voting starts October 18th, so that's just a few days from today. And we just wanted to show you some of the early voting sites here that is now that will be opening on October 18th. And so there's a few locations here. As you can see, there's Maplewood uh, City Hall. There's the St. Paul Elections Office and other locations where you can go and uh, complete your early voting. The no ke yo ke sai chan zo ke sai chan zo na ke yo pi ne no tho ko lin tu van ti ko yi ton de no men ji a ko yin po ha ti a jo cho wo ko mo sai chan zo no nu tu ki nu ki nyo to ho mei bu wo de ho si li ho ti ho sen po ti a to kan de ji mo ko yin po do ha cho ji wo Okay, and then what do you need to bring with you when you go vote in person? So if you are currently registered and it is current and active, um, you do not need to bring any form of identification. If you still need to register or update your registration or have not voted in four plus years, you will need proof of your identification and um, residence when you go in person to vote. Okay. มุขเฮเดกยลังตึเตชียอเดกจึงยวตอมูจอมเบลอยยวตอมูอ่าขอกะจันตองตอจอมเบลเดกยอจอเชียตะชินอเทียยอเดกจิตอมูไสจาละย
ปมวนนั่งป้าก็ย่อยเดียก็ฉีดซ้อยหลวนกี่เถาก็หมดใส่จ้าเยี่ยงมัวจะนั่งใส่หลูย่อตรงเด็กตังจะเชิญหมดใ